On April 7th, the Falcon 9 rocket from SpaceX majestically set off toward orbit. In today's episode, we will look at this launch and show that even on a telecommunications satellite, we can find a scientifically valuable instrument. The Falcon 9 launched on April 7th at 4.30 Universal Time from Florida's Launch Pad 40. SpaceX selected the first stage for this mission, which had already flown for the fourth time. The landing site was the A shortfall of Gravitas C platform. Stage one landing confirmed. Meanwhile, the second stage reached orbit and stretched it into an ellipse with a second ignition. On this elongated orbit, the approximately 6-ton Intelsat 40E satellite detached from the upper stage. It will move to a geostationary orbit using its propulsion system by the end of April. Its task will be to provide internet connectivity for ships and aircraft in the North American region. However, what we're interested in today is the Tempo scientific instrument, which is directly attached to the Intelsat 40E satellite. Tempo will use the orbit of the Intelsat 40E satellite for its measurements. In the geostationary orbit at an altitude of 36,000 kilometers, the satellite orbits the Earth for the same time as the Earth rotates around its axis. The satellite in the geostationary orbit, therefore, remains above the same point on Earth. Intelsat 40E will settle above 91 degrees west longitude, giving it an uninterrupted view of North America. The task of the Tempo instrument will be to regularly measure the concentrations of harmful gases in the atmosphere, such as nitrogen and sulfur dioxides, ozone, or formaldehyde. Scientists already have similar measurements from satellites in low Earth orbit, but they only fly over a given location once a day. In contrast, Tempo will perform its measurements at least once an hour and will not work only at night. This will allow scientists to create accurate models of how pollutant concentrations change at different locations during the day, for example, due to morning rush hour traffic. If you would like to receive notifications of new episodes, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching today's episode, and we'll be back tomorrow with another one.